19. Coming up, a local author has written a touching tribute to her mother. It started off with a stack of recipes. And we'll take a look at how it also helped the author understand her mother's battle with mental illness and those sugar cookies right there. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm. Welcome back, everyone. A local author reveals how finding her mother's recipe box helped her understand the past. It's a story of sacrifice and living with mental illness. It's also about learning that sugar is not always such a bad thing. In today's Health Smart, we're showing you a unique cookbook. It's called Compromise Cake. The pile of sweets mother left on the sideboard as she headed toward her room was the most she was willing or able to say. They are the memories of a mother now inside the pages of this cookbook called Compromise Cake, Lessons Learned from My Mother's Recipe Book. Author Nancy Spiller reveals her late mother Marguerite suffered for years with a mental illness. As a child growing up, you don't bring friends home because you're embarrassed about your mother, because you've been told by other members of the family that she's crazy. Spiller's mother was educated and for a time taught school, but early found herself divorced and raising four children in the post-war boom of the 1950s. Schizophrenia was a very common diagnosis for women during that period. Um, now it's bipolar, you know, or it's, or it's uh, clinical depression. To help cool the chaos, Nancy and her mother turned to cooking. This recipe box holding many of the ingredients they would mix together to end the madness. Yes, that was my role as the youngest child. I was trying to make her happy, so if I could get her to be happy, she would be happy enough to be a mother again. Inside Compromise Cake, which includes beautiful illustrations by Nancy herself, you'll find dozens of Marguerite's handwritten recipes. What we're going to do next is we're going to cream the shortening with the um, sugars. Okay. Nancy invited me into her kitchen to blend together ingredients for her mother's compromise cake, admitting she believes completing recipes helped her mother cover up the pain year after year. With depression or schizophrenia is the disorganized thinking. And if you can pull it together to do the recipe and to execute it successfully, that's a good thing. And now, years later, this little recipe box still sits in Nancy's kitchen, filled with the past, but promises sweet memories ahead. Here my mother is again my mentor. As student, I will make the recipes and remember our life together. Now guys, of course, this book, I'm not a big cook or a big baker. It really is a special read. I read the entire thing. And the great thing about it, it has a really sweet message. So if you want to find out more about Compromise Cake and where it is available, you can head over to ktla.com forward slash Lou. The entire story there is there and more information on Nancy as well. I, the sweets, the yeah. Compromise Cake, yeah. the sugar cookies, the man cookies. We ate them all. You can decode a lot about your family. I was looking at a recipe card from my, my grandma's past of a, a prune and apricot cake. Yeah. Which may sound horrible to you, but for very sweet. It's interesting. I know. All right, 826. We're going to get back to the news at the bottom of the hour.